Hey guys, hey Jane, thanks so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I'm your reader, Lorraine. Thank you for coming and watching this reading. This is going to be for your October 2020 reading for the Air Signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is going to be for you guys. If you haven't already done so, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that button now. Click on the notification bell as well below the screen so that way you can be informed by email once I've uploaded new content for you guys. And I'd like to say hello to the new and existing subscribers who have just subscribed. Thank you guys so much and I hope you're all doing really, really well today, especially today. Now, um, it's halfway through September, okay? And we are going to be heading into the Libra season. It's two days before the new moon as well. So you're going to be feeling kind of, you know, like in preparation, okay? I'm feeling a sense of real sense of uh, preparation for you guys. Libras, okay? It's going to be the season very soon. So I know there's, you know, going to be a lot of excitement going on and a lot of manifestations and intentions going on for you guys. You know, you wonderful, beautiful Libras. Um, but this is going to be um, obviously for Geminis and Aquarius as well, okay? So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Now, you know, guys, this is general. This is not a personal reading. Please do take what resonates. What has or what will come out from this reading may have already happened to you, okay? Maybe it's just the title of this video that has brought you to this reading, okay? So if it doesn't resonate with you 110%, don't worry about it, okay? You only take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Let's keep it moving forward. Don't stay stuck, keep it moving forward. I feel that this is really where we want to be air signs. We are not wanting to be staying stuck, okay? We're not, we're not sort of... Um, <clears throat> you know rooted to the ground like you know obviously the earth signs and you know sometimes um you know that can be you know a little bit of a hindrance we like to move around we are air signs we like to breathe we like to feel free we don't like to stay stuck into something in a situation that doesn't really serve its purpose anymore or it's harming our vibes and we want out um, it's not our choice. We, If it's not our choice, we're not staying there, okay? If it's our choice, fair enough. But if it's not and somebody wants to come in and impose themselves upon us, they need to find that front door quickly and walk through it, okay? Because this is what this is how we are. So we've got the three cards already. Mm. So there is a regeneration. There's a thinker and there is a flexible card right now. Now, there's two ways I'm looking at this. And I feel that you kind of, you know that this is gonna be like either, it depends on how well you know this situation, number one. Now, I do sense that you are trying to put an end into something, okay? Um, and it involves somebody who you know, yeah, you kind of thought it would have kind of worked, but it's not. Whatever's going on, this connection, it's not working. And I feel that you're trying to find something, you know, either a different, two, totally different new energy, i.e. a new person, or you're trying to be, you know, um, you're willing to sort of like give it another go. I feel that you're there's two flexible, you know, sort of two outcomes. And I feel that you're you're easy either way for this to be but the intention is for you to be able to sort of be able to live the life that you have manifested that you want to be able to live and it's also about growing and building with you know together okay because this is what you want you want the stability and the security and there's nothing wrong with that okay um i do sense there is a, the other side to it that you are definitely looking for somebody new you definitely want somebody new um whatever is going on with this regeneration card um, there's a lot of things that um, I feel that you are getting a lot of in, um, hints about. You're really studying them and looking at what's going on here. Okay. Um, with their actions and their words and their words and their actions. Does it add up? Um, many of you are sort of like asking the universe to give you a sign. Um, it's either to end things permanently or to regenerate it and see what happens. Okay. So I feel that this is where it is for some of you guys. Now, this may have already happened already. Um, to be real, 
um, especially for the Libras, it's you're still in thinking mode. But the but the main thing is that you you guys just want to move, you want to move forward, and I, you know, it is frustrating as well, especially when you know that you know because at the end of the day, guys, you know that we can't force people to do, to, you know, especially when it comes to their free will. So if they're not willing to participate or to really grow with you, then you're going to grow, you know, apart and and end things and and that's it. But um, I feel that if it comes to the newness with the flexible card. I feel that, you know, where your options are concerned, um, don't sort of limit yourself too, too, in, you know, filter it down too much because it means you could be missing out on a lot of more opportunities that could be, that will present itself to you and um, could actually work out to be a whole lot better. Because I feel that this this situation has been really kind of, it's been dragging. I'm getting some a sensation of dragging and no um, satisfaction um, that was never guaranteed and it's really got to the stage now where you really have to think long and hard now about what it is that you want to do because to be honest I don't see this really working itself out all right so um, if you feel that this is going to be the end then it's either thinking of how to end things amicably and then without minimal drama you know, obviously there's going to be disappointments and a heartache, but you're trying to kind of find ways to soothe it and then move it. Okay, then the other side of you guys will be, okay, let's um, end it and then restart it again. Reset. Now, we've got the here and now card. So I do sense um, you guys are definitely in this thinking mode because you're thinking about things right now. You're in the present moment, but you're thinking about it now. Don't stay too long with this energy, though, because you don't want time to pass you by either, okay? I still feel that you need to be looking out for different opportunities as well, because one of the opportunities could be to really make this situation, if you are looking to regenerate it and rebuild it and restart it, um, whatever opportunity that comes your way could actually make that work so much more successful, okay? So definitely, you know, think but be flexible. Okay, this is October time now. October, the, you know, the 10th. I said this in a different reading as well. 10 is about endings. And we do have four, you know, 46 and four and six is 10. So I do feel that this is the, you know, especially for the October um, Libras, um, this is really and truly, you know, you feel this way, you know, a hell of a lot, especially if you are sort of like in the middle of, the October season, all right? Let's go with your tarot. Okay. I'm going to be using the Dreaming Way. I haven't used this deck in a little while. And it sort of called me, called me out. So let's see what this, whatever messages are on these cards for you guys. Because I really feel, I sense dissatisfaction. And really sort of like, you, sh you know, I shouldn't have to be going through this. Why am I going through this right now? We've got the Ten of Swords. Ew. I told you I want to put endings. This is why this deck wanted to call me out. Endings. But the thing is, it's like, it's not going to be as painful as it is if you really try to end this in a way that is going to cause minimal damage. Okay, if it's like this, then it's like, you know, wow, yeah. But because it's the other way around, if you imagine it like the swords, you know, gravity, you know, it would just, you know, pull itself out, it would fall out this way. Yes, it's going to be an ending. An ending is an ending. No matter how many ways you sort of turn this card around, it's the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, but I feel you're just really kind of getting over, because the, cause to me, as I said, it just feels as if this is, like another situation, like how many times are you going to be going back and forward with this person? And if you are still at that stage in your life where it's like, oh God, like I just can't, I just can't deal with this. Especially Libras, you know, there's some Libras that will be like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But then when they're done, they're done. And I feel that right now I'm dealing with the Debras, I'm dealing with the Debras, what is that? I'm dealing with the Libras who are on that level right now is, is that, once this is done, they are done. If they're going back in, they're going to go back in and really try hard. But if it's not going to work, they're gone. These are gone. Straight up. 
Okay, air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So the Ten of Swords. God. Okay, I've got to take these. I just saw this and it was like, as I said, this was the first card I pulled out. And Death card. You've got the Six of Pentacles and you got the Six of Swords. As I said, mm-hmm. So you're still going to try and see if you can make things kind of work. But the thing is, as I said, if you have to be very strategical here because I do sense a lot of sensitivity. There's a lot of passion that's that's in this and um in this connection, okay, with you and this person, okay? Because this really does feel that this is a relationship of some kind, okay? But it has caused you a lot of disappointments and heartache as well as a lot of frustration as well. Trying to end things, because I feel that you, you want to end it, but you're fearful of the fact that in case, oh, you know, you don't really need no more dramas added on top. Yes, it hasn't been very successful, especially with the reciprocity and a lot of breadcrumbing, right? But if this person's going through a situation, then I feel that, yeah, you need to kind of talk about it. And then the both of you can move on or you can sort of move on to a certain point and then you sort of just split. OK, but I really do sense that there's certain things that you're trying to, you know, um, work out in an amicable way without it being too, um, too dramatic. OK, too drastic. All these jumpers got the king of cups. As I said, it's too emotional. You and your person, because I do sense that, the, you know, your person is also whoever is in this energy of the king of cups to your situation. You both feel this the same way. Now, cups, they do want to have an apology. There's lots of things that's popping out fast. So I do feel that there's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of like, okay, let's try this again. Um, you know, but let's see, you know, and to try and stop this heartache. This could be a marriage, you know, and you guys are really sort of, um, you know, really trying to fight for this relationship. But at the same time, logically speaking, you know that it's really not going to be working. Got that eight of swords. There's a lot of swords here. Air sign. You sort of thinking hard, boy. You sort of really thinking hard. You've got the three of cups. You would love to have this reconnection and celebration of life. This is what you want to have. But is it possible to have it? Let me just ask this card. Is this possible? It's possible if there's communication. Okay? A passionate communication. Lots of talking. It can happen. Bottom of the deck. What are you telling me? Queen of Cups, I knew that that would have shown up. This is definitely King and Queen energy. You are, are very much, you might have, you um, air signs might have water in your chart, um, anywhere in your birth chart, but this emotion, you know, and, and as I said, it feels like there's a marriage going on. You could have a family as well. So there's there's a lot of like, okay, we're, ah, we're going to try this out. We need to try, we need to try, we need to try, okay? I do feel that you need, you know, this is why you are in this energy of like, I don't really want to be too, harsh on this person because of the fact that if there are children involved you've got to think about your children okay you've got to think about their energy you've got to think about their situation how they're going to feel how you're going to feel and so forth and so forth all right let me just pull a card for this ten of swords king of cups i feel this this is definitely your person and this is you because if you look at this if you look at this all right let me just bring this in you guys are not really happy the emotions are just too much. It's overwhelming. And your child, you know, you could have a little girl or a little boy or children. But, you know, it's like you're trying to make things happy around your kids so that they don't really see what's happening. But the two of you, you know, in privacy might be having your little arguments. Well, not so much an argument. I feel that, you know, you may, you guys may have known each other for a very, very long time. And there's that kind of probably brother-sister you know, sort of like energy between the two of you. You may have been, you know, started off as friends, then became lovers. So you don't want to kind of lose that connection. It's quite difficult. It's quite a difficult kind of reading. Um, it's not a difficult reading. It's straightforward. But what I'm saying is that the emotions, the energy is quite difficult. It's like you, you, you know that you need to move forward, but at the same time, you don't want to lose this connection. You don't want to hurt each other even more deeper than you both already have. All right. So the Ten of Swords, what's happening here, please? What can you tell me about this Ten of Swords? You want to come out to Queen of Pentacles. So there is about a feeling of, um, you know, not really being secure, not really wanting to be feeling um, like this is, <clears throat> so excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, so <clears throat> I'll start again, sorry. There's a lot of things going on here with regards to the, the stability and 
you know, being secure in this in, in the situation. It's got to do with moving. It's, it's got to do with moving. I feel one of you is want to move out further than where the other one is really willing to go. That's another thing that's coming up. Another suggestion. Um, this may have been spoken about. Um, one of you don't like where you are. And I'm hearing they want to be somewhere different. And I'm hearing they want to be close, um, somewhere different, close to the other people. I don't know where that just came from, but that popped it in. But things are definitely, um, you know, there's a lot of communication that needs to be spoken about. A lot of thinking is taking place here. Let me check your, your guy or your girl. Let's see what's happening. King of Cups, what are you telling me right now? What's happening here? So that you, you, you know, as I said, you're trying to put an end to, because the thing is your person as well, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, air sign, might as well say, they are, are tired of this. They're tired of the bickering and they are tired of the arguments. Who's got the last sort of say in the matter? They want to put an end to this. They're tired of it. All right. They may not say it to you, but they are looking at ending things as well. They're ending things either to be moving on because nobody wins this argument or the fact that they would like to restart it again. Okay, you could be dealing with any of these fixed signs, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, um, Aries. Sorry, oh God, I'll start again. <laughs> Aquarius, Taurus, Lib Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, Leo. Um, oh God, what's the other start? What's the other fixed sign? Shit, my brain's gone. Aquarius. Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. So my brain just froze. It's either one of those um, fixed signs. So there's a lot of like, if it's like this, you guys are going to be like, oh, back and forth with the arguments and the cussing and this and that. Is it really worth it? No, because this is where you are both like this. You're not wanting to give up so easily, but sometimes it's the it's the way how you know, the, the, there's so much passion that's in here, okay, that you want to have a new start, yeah, or you want to be able to sit and talk about things, yeah, but then something might just be said, you know, and if you're dealing with, like, you know, um, an air sign that is, you know, if you guys are going to be a little bit too witty, or you try and get, you know, try to make a stab back at the other person, they pick it up very quickly, because I feel you guys know each other very, very well, Okay, um, and but there is a lot of passion here, there's a lot of love here, but I just feel that you guys, there's a frustration, something's happened where it's like, I mean, it feels as if this is running its course as well, Every, you know, irrespective as to whether or not you have children, okay, um, let me just check the Knight of Cups, so how are you feeling, because I've sensed that this is you in this Knight, Knight of Cups energy, you're I told you indecisive thinking really thinking because I'd sense that you you don't want to do any kind of wrong move because you don't know as I said to you two things is that you may be missing out on a little bit of information maybe you're just waiting on to see what's happening or the fact is is that you don't want to stay in this energy for too long because you could be missing out on certain blessings all right, and another way of another opportunity, another way of trying to deal with this vibe. Okay, I feel with the Eight of Swords. Um, let's see, because again, I feel that you're you're also blinded to certain other things as well. Queen of Wands. Now, two things that's here, and I'll be honest with you. Because there's three queens here. We've got two. Queen of Pentacles. Sorry. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. But I feel that the Queen of the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups is you. But who is this? There could be a third party energy going on here. There could be. 
It could be from your person that could be very well wanting to end things. Could be wanting to end things. I'm going to be straight. Could be the fact that there's somebody here. Who is this Queen of Cups? Sorry, Queen of Wands. What's going on here with this? Well, there's something very popular and I, t I sense, because I'm hearing the word alluring. I'll be honest with you. What's this? Someone's made, it's like some kind of offer has been made. Secretly. There's something going on with the Queen of Wands and I suspect this King of Cups. Underneath this deck, we've got, a th I told you it's about a third party. Third party energy. You guys are going to need to just really resolve this. Now, I'm not saying that there is definitely somebody here for all of the air signs, okay? I feel that this would more pertain to those who have um, been in a long-term relationship or if you guys are married. Um, but I sense that certain things have been led astray. Maybe this... Maybe there have maybe there was infidelity in the past and you're trying to kind of work things out because you know, but nobody's really happy, you know, especially with the way I have this Queen of Cups is looking, you know, with this kind of single parent energy. But you're you're still trying to make things work. I feel that some you know, sometimes we we end up being in a relationship with a relationship with somebody for a long time who we should never have been in a relationship with but it would have been better for you guys to remain as friends okay um everything happens for a reason okay nothing is by coincidence here okay everything is divinely orchestrated because this is what we have been brought into this world to experience however i feel that for some of you guys the you you know your other person your other you know spouse or you know partner may have actually gone in a different direction with somebody new, somebody on the side, okay? Um, and this is kind of like where it gets a bit on the, you know, on the tricky side. Because I do sense that there is an attraction with this Queen of Wands, all right? Um, and there's a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? The popular trending word, entanglement. You know, this is what's going on here. Entanglement. You know, just any no dramas in your life. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave this right here. I, I swear this is just very, you know, it's not going to be for everybody, but this is what I picked up, guys. Um, very much really thinking about the way how things are right now, which direction you're going in. You know, trying to minimize the pain, but know that there's an ending that's taking place here. That it, Because whatever's going on here, it needs to end. It's inevitable. It's going to end. Okay? It's either, as I said, it's either going to end with you guys being together or it's going to end with you guys being apart. But this cannot continue because you've got this. You've got this. Okay? All right, guys. I'm going to leave this here. This is your October 2020 dramatic drama 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 dramas reading okay um good luck with this um you know j you just do what you've got to do do what you think is right for yourself and your family i do sense that this is a marriage though guys and there's a, ch a child or children involved in this okay and somebody uh, uh you know was doing a little bit of the, the the playing away um you know and and i feel this is either a confession or they got caught out because this ten of swords yeah. Mm hmm. God. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching this reading. As I say, guys, good luck. Okay. And I will be back with another reading for you guys next month. Um, so stay tuned for this. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to bring you something more positive. But as I said, the cards, what I see here, I'm not, I can't lie and make it all fancy dancy for you guys. All right. When it's not that it's pick, I'm picking up on something where, you know, this really kind of needs to end. But you guys have to just move on, you know, and away from this. All right? On to be bigger and better things. Okay, guys. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.